Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at the one car stereo conversion box that you plug into your infotainment system USB port and it transforms it into a full fledged Android system. I overlanded a modern all wheel drive vehicle and I'll let you know if this device will be useful for this activity. All right, everyone, so let's get into this. This turns my Apple CarPlay Android Auto, my infotainment screen into a full-fledged Android operating system. This came from Hong Kong. Let's unbox this. All right, shrink wrap. This thing says it's a full Android system. And then on the back, You'll see that it looks like on the top is Android Auto, and then on the in the middle is Apple CarPlay, and then on the bottom, I don't know. At first glance, I think most people will think about using the One Car Stereo AI box to watch Netflix and YouTube on their infotainment screen, which typically is much bigger than a cell phone. Just keep in mind that in most states, it's illegal to have any kind of video or movie playing while you're driving, the video cannot be in your peripheral vision. All right, so iPhone 12 Pro Max, my eight inch infotainment system. You can see that this screen is uh, a bit bigger. Just a nicer screen to watch movies on. <laughs> As you were able to hear, sound in your car stereo will typically be substantially better than on a cell phone. All right, sorry, car is a little messy, but here's my main USB connection thing. Plug it in there, and then let's see what's up. It's lit, lit up. It's blinking. Enable Apple CarPlay for this device. Um, enable, yeah, let's do it. Get rid of this one that's a friend's phone. Okay, cool. Ooh. Um, sure, why not? Oh, all right. There it goes. All right. Android. Ooh, okay. The setup process took me three minutes, but much of that was deleting an old device so I could install the new One Car Stereo AI box. As you can see here, some kind of Android system pops up. There's lots of apps. It's very similar to Apple CarPlay. And I think the newer Android Auto, which modeled itself after Apple CarPlay. This is a full on Android system. So you could download any app that you could use on an Android tablet or phone. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay do not allow you to download the YouTube app. So the One Car Stereo AI box is one way to get around it. Now, I am not sponsored by One Car Stereo. They didn't give me talking points. They actually were really nice and asked me if I would do an honest review. So here we go. Here is your honest review. So as an overlander, this screen is dedicated to GPS. I currently use Gaia. It's my off-road overlanding journal. Because my iPhone does everything that I need on a daily basis, like take phone calls, read text messages to me, listen to music, and navigate, I personally don't feel a need to be able to watch YouTube videos. But for people that are power users that want to use specific apps to do specific things, then Android is going to be your ticket. My personal opinion of Android is that it's just not as reliable and dependable as Apple iOS. But the cool thing is that you could wirelessly mirror your phone. You just click on auto kit and then this is my iPhone. The interface is a little bit laggier than when I have my phone directly connected into my uh, Apple CarPlay system. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in one car stereo again. All right, it's connecting. When this lights up, it's ready. It's taking a little bit. There it goes. All right, so this is the home screen it goes to. Now I want to go to this auto kit to mirror my phone. It's waiting. Fill to open Wi-Fi hotspot, all right. This is a real-time example of how inconsistent the Android system could be. It's not reconnecting. It was literally just connected. What is the deal? So. Again, this is not an issue with one car stereo. It's an issue with Android. My hotspot was on and I just messed with a bunch of settings. And after about seven minutes, it finally connected. I can't say that I did anything special. It just randomly connected. Very inconsistent. By the way, this whole time I am hotspotting data from my iPhone to the one car stereo. If you use the dedicated SIM car slot, then your experience with this unit will be profoundly better. So what's the verdict? Is this a bad modification? No, I don't think it's a bad modification. Is it a great modification? I think it has potential to be great, but unless you're willing to purchase a SIM card and insert it into the one car stereo slot, then I think this unit might cause some headaches. Well, the good news is you could always just disconnect it and plug in your iPhone or Android phone. If you're wanting to watch videos, I highly recommend a laptop. This is a hybrid that has a touchscreen. It could be a tablet or a PC and um, it could fold any which way and it could detect if it's upside down or not. This is a great way to watch movies because I could take it from the car. I could set it down on my dash, watch movies there, or I could sleep in my car and just hang it up on the ceiling, or I could take it into the rooftop tent. So that does it for this review video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you One Car Stereo for um, sending me a unit for testing. Thank you for the consideration. And uh, to end this video, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So in the comment section, just type in, enter me into the one car stereo giveaway. No purchase necessary. This is a free giveaway, but you have to be in the 48 states of the United States of America. Sorry, Alaska and Hawaii. It would just be too complicated and expensive to send you the prize. The deadline for the giveaway is end of April, April 30th. So good luck. That does it for this episode. I hope you have fun on your adventures.